All right, I'm going to be showing you how to do a works cited page just by using Microsoft Word and nothing else but Word and your sources. So we're going to be in Microsoft Word here, and uh, you'll see this screen when you open it up. So the first thing you want to do is up here at the top, click on References. This uh, brings you up to the References ribbon, as they call them. And this References ribbon has um, a menu on it in the middle where you insert your citations. First thing you want to do though is change your style. Because you're not doing APA, or if you're doing APA, great. Um, but for if you're in my class, you'll be doing MLA 7th edition, or whatever the latest edition is. And so you'll uh, select that under style, MLA 7th edition, and then you'll click on manage sources right above that. Manage sources. Okay. So again, remember you can always pause and rewind this video if you need to go back. Um, so you'll get this pop up here in this window is where you'll add the sources themselves. Okay, so when you're ready to add one, you'll click on New. And before you get too far, go down here to the bottom left where it says Show All Bibliography Fields. You want to check that box. Okay, because otherwise it will not ask you for um, the op or excuse me the publisher, which you definitely need. Okay, um, so. So we'll click on Show All Bibliography Fields, and we'll go down and select our type of thing. You can select all of them here, okay? But I'm going to do a website, since that's what most of my students do. And we need our author, okay? And uh, I'm going to cite this article I found about um, uh, camera settings that I was reading, because it's got a new camera. So um, for the author, the na this guy's name is Darren Rouse. So I can just type it in how it looks. And you'll notice that... Um, It'll when you format it, it'll format it for you when you're done. So I just type it in first name and last name. If it had they have a middle name, uh, you might want to go into this edit thing and you can edit that right there. Okay. And you'll notice that's already formatted it for me. Okay. And the name of the web page, uh, which is um, the actual name of the article. Okay, so in my case is gonna be ISO settings in digital photography okay and uh, the name of the website is digital you need to know this too okay all the information I'm putting in here is what you would need to know for a properly done MLA format um, what we're excited okay so digital photography school and it did not list an editor um, most of the time it will not sometimes newspaper websites will so if you do you can uh, the producer name, though, um, and the producer company gets kind of confusing. Okay, the production company will be your publisher, though. They won't. They doesn't give you a feel for just the publisher down here, and so words kind of confusing like that. But that's the publisher, the production company. Okay, um, and uh, in this case, uh, the guy's name is Matt Brett. Sometimes it's just the webmaster, and I guess that's that's the webmaster for this one. And so there's Matt Brett. Um, it was published in 2012, and does not give me a month or a day, so I'm going to skip that. If it does give you a month or a day, uh, then do that. Um, but this particular article does not. Okay, I know especially news articles will let you will will definitely give you a month and a day uh, when it was published originally. Your access, I'll just go with today's date. Um, oops, the month is March, and today's the 11th. Actually, it is the, the day I actually looked at this article. So um, when you get down to URL, do not put that in. Okay? Most of you think you have to just copy and paste that, but you don't have to. Now with MLA today, you do not have to do that. All you need to do in, uh, is go down here to Medium, and put in the word web, which tells us we get, you got it from the internet. If you'd gotten this from a newspaper, you'd put in print, or a book, you put print. Um, or if you got it from, say, an audio recording, you put audio. Okay, so that's all it is, is uh, to tell us what kind of thing you use to get this information. Okay, and so we get all that, just kind of look it over, make sure you got it all. And I think I do. So you will um, simply hit OK, and 
and you'll see it's there. Okay. And do your next one, you click on new and do the same thing again. You know, I've, uh, website's already selected for me this time. Okay, so if I need to change that, change it. So type of source, then click on show all bibliography fields, and then I'm going to put that same information in here again. Okay. I'm going to uh, pause the recording real quick and enter another one so I can use it for an example. Okay, so I've got the second one in here now. Um, and this one did have a year, month, and day for the publication. Okay, uh, so I will want that for this time. And I've got all my information there again. I've checked it over, hit OK, and now that's in my list as well. And now you can see down here it's going to have um, all that stuff in your uh, bibliography entries. Okay, so I'm going to click close now. And now to get my works cited page, I'll go back up here, up here to my ribbon and um, click on bibliography. And then I'm going to select Works Cited. So I'm, I don't want bibliography because that's not going to be uh, the proper format. It might be in a different format than what we want. But we're calling this a Works Cited. So we'll click on Works Cited. Okay. And there it is. All I had to do is plug in the information and then Word formatted it for me. And so I didn't have to sit here and try to remember all the periods and everything else I needed. It's all there for me. Okay. The other nice thing about this is. Um, when you go to do the page um, and do the insect, excuse me, the in-text citations when you're actually typing the document. So let's let's uh, pretend I'm using information from my uh, document or my source, excuse me. All I've got to do is when I'm done using that information, I got to do the in-text citation. I can go back up here and click on in-text citation. And let's say I got it from this Darren Rouse guy. I can click on his name, and it puts it in there for me. Okay, it's that simple every time. And that will save you a lot of time when you're typing, because no one likes to sit there and keep typing these things over and over again. Okay, so um, that's how we do it, folks. And uh, if you have any more questions, see me, but uh, or go, let's go back and watch this again, step by step.